Basically, the explore procedure does exactly what other procedures do. It computes and generates a list of statistical indicators for our variable. However, it has an important extra facility. It allows us to do the analysis not only for the entire population, but also for subgroups or strata of the population. So, the explore procedure often involves two types of variables. Dependent continuous variables, these are the variables we want to perform the analysis for, and independent categorical variables, also called factors, these are used to define the subgroups or subcategories of the population. Now let's take a practical example. We will use the employee data file again. Let's suppose that we want to compute the main statistics for the current salary variable, but separate it for men and women, male and female employees. So our dependent variable will be current salary, and our factor will be the variable gender. In the Analyze menu, we look for the Explore procedure here. Analyze Descriptive Statistics Explore. In the Dependent List window, we enter the current salary, of course, and in the Factor List, we enter the gender. Now let's press the Statistics button. You notice here that this option, Descriptives, is selected by default. Unlike the previous procedures, the Explore procedure computes a predetermined set of indicators. We cannot change that, so we don't have options here. So we click Continue. Now let's press this button, Plots. I will select here None, because I'm not interested in the box plots at this time. And I will deselect Steam and Leaf and select Histogram instead. That's all. I press continue and now OK to get the output. We notice that we have two big sections in this table, corresponding to the two gender categories, female and male. Most indicators listed here can be also obtained using the frequencies procedure. However, the explore procedure generates some extra indicators. The 95% confidence interval for the means, here and here. The 5% trimmed mean, here and here. The trimmed mean is computed by removing the extreme scores of the variable. And the interquartile range. In this table, we can also make some simple comparisons between the groups. For example, we can see that the male employees have a bigger average salary than the female employees. For the male employees, the average salary is about $41,000, and for the female employees, it's about $26,000 per year. The interquartile range for the male employees is also much bigger, about $22,000, compared to only $7,000 for the female employees which indicates a higher dispersion of the salaries on this segment. So, this table allows us to do comparisons between the statistical indicators of the two groups, male employees and female employees. Now let's examine the two histograms that the program has created for us, at our request. As you know, the histograms are useful for visually studying the variable distribution, in order to verify whether the distribution is normal or not. We are going to discuss this in detail later. In both histograms, here and here, we notice that the left bars are higher than the right bars, so the low salaries are more frequent than the high salaries. In other words, the variable salary is positively skewed or right skewed. One final observation. If we use the explore procedure with two or more factors, the program will compute the statistical indicators separately for each factor. For example, if our factors are gender and employment category, so variables gender and job catch, the program will firstly report the findings for the two genders, male and female, and then for the three employment categories, clerical, custodial, and managers. So, the explore procedure does not combine the factors to say so. 
we cannot analyze the data for women managers, for example, or for men custodial. To do that, we have to use another SPSS procedure that we will study in the next lesson.